Hey everybody! Welcome back, second stream of the day. This is like a trend now. Two streams a day. <laughs> oh, I wish I could, could keep this up. Oh, how's everybody doing? May, how are ya? Hilly. Life, I know, but... <laughs> oh. I missed last week's uh, chiptune stream, so that sucked. But I'm doing okay today, so we're streaming today, doing music. I want to show you guys all the cool Halloween stuff I've been working on. So, like, the songs that we just heard there were from last year's... Uh, last year's Halloween album, The Ghost in the Game Boy. Um, I don't know... I don't know what we're gonna do. Or, I don't know what this year's album is gonna be called. But... I have the artwork already. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture to show you guys. Uh, let me find it here. Um, I thought I had it on here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I can't find it. It's a skeleton. <laughs> it's a skeleton. Woo, a skeleton! Yay! <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see if... Whoa, that's not... No, please go back. Ah, oh, shoot. Go back? Okay. I think that's normal size. Whatever. I don't think... I'm really bad with this stuff. I have to configure my game controller every time. I don't think I actually have to. I just kind of... I don't know. It doesn't work if I don't. You're making walking tacos. Never heard of what are walking tacos? <laughs> they walk right into your mouth. <laughs> Life's getting better to be fair. New job, more money, hopefully more energy for music and fun things. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I've got a couple things I'm kind of dealing with, but um, other than that, like, yeah, it's pretty good. And I, I'm getting. I'm kind of the opposite, I guess. Fewer hours at work, which means less money, but I'll have more time to do things that I care more about, so that's that's what's important, you know? Money is not that important. I mean, it's important because you have to pay for things that you can live. Uh, that's the main thing. Other than that, you don't really need money that much, right? So. Um, so, how about, well, let's see, you know, um, so what I did last year for Halloween, because I love Halloween, last year I made this EP, and it was six tracks long, we had Brains, which is about zombies, The Haunted Game Boy, which obviously is about a ghost, uh, Bloodthirst, which is about vampires, Skulls, which is about skulls and skeletons and stuff. Uh, ghost, which is also about a ghost, and Werewolf Strife, which is about werewolves and their strife. <laughs> so this year I wanted to do the same sort of thing with, like, about different sort of monsters and creatures. And if you guys, I don't know if, if we've got any metalheads here, um, if anybody listens to Ice er uh, Iced Earth, wow, my voice is not voicing properly, sorry about that. If anybody listens to Iced Earth, they have an album called Horror Show, and that one's really cool. They've got, like, songs about all kinds of different creatures and characters from different horror stories and stuff. So I, I definitely recommend that album. That might be where I got the idea, but I'm not sure. <sighs> Let's see. Need the money if I'm going to retire before I'm 35, though. Ooh, you want to retire at 35? I'll race you. <laughs> I'll race you. We'll see who can retire first. <laughs> Never had a walking taco, it's just like a normal taco, but instead of like shells, it's in a small bag of chips of Doritos or Fritos. You put all the taco goodies in the bag of chips and eat it like that, you can walk with it. <laughs> it's the walking taco part. Okay, I think we just call those taco in a bag. <laughs> I like walking taco, that's... I like that better, that's cute. Walking taco. Um, but yeah, no, I, <laughs> I have heard of those. <laughs> that's too funny. I was thinking about making cabbage tacos. I still haven't had that. I was thinking about it the other day, and then... Actually, I started... What did I start doing? I started heating ground beef, because I want to make beef and cabbage. 
I'm having a lot of bacon and cabbage, so I want to have beef and cabbage. And I'm cooking the beef, and I go in the fridge, and we're out of cabbage! Out of cabbage! Can you believe it? So we had beef with, like, eggs. <laughs> that works. That works. Uh, no, right? <laughs> hey, defense mech. How was the rest of the donut shoes stream? I had to leave after like an hour or an hour and a half. I thought about saying something, but I just kind of quietly snuck out and left left it on. <laughs> I was lurking, but I forgot to say I was lurking. I went in and did some other stuff and I took a little nap and I, uh, he kind of lost me at the, what's it called? Bitwig? Yeah, I was like, ah, I just want to know how to get it into LSDJ. Because, you know, when he was talking about, like, who would be interested in this, I thought, okay, so what he's doing here, because obviously it's on the Wave channel, because that's the only way you can get samples in there. So what he's doing is he's taking, like, a piece of a song, chopping it up so that it fits into 16th notes or whatever, and then plunking it into the Wave channel. So I don't know really how to do that, but I imagine, however you do samples, I guess you put it as a kit or whatever, you just chop it up, put it in order, and away you go, right? Is there is there more to it than that? Or is that kind of the gist of it? Because if that's the gist of it, then I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring that out. And then watching it, he kind of confirmed that, yes, I figured it out. I still haven't dealt with samples yet, and I really want to do that. So, I don't know if you guys have this problem, any music makers, if you have this problem, or any other kind of artists or anything, but I get an idea for an album, and then I start working on it, and I get, like, halfway done or a third of the way done or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, man, I want to introduce this other thing. And then, um, but then it's like, well, I don't want to have half of the songs or two-thirds of the songs sounding, like, super fancy. And they have this technique or whatever implemented, and then the other ones don't. So then I feel like I should go back and rework the other ones. But then I kind of don't want to rework the other ones, because if I'm... If I've made a song and deemed it finished and recorded it already, to me, that's kind of like a record of my progress at the time. So I don't really want to add stuff to it after the fact. But then again, if I just make an album with all kinds of stuff on it, who cares, right? Some al some songs will sound more advanced, some won't, whatever. Um, but like one big thing I want to do is add samples and voice stuff. I'm going to be the lead singer of my own band. <laughs> that just reminded me of that D12 and Eminem song. I haven't heard that in ages. I'm going to be the lead singer of my band, you guys. Um, yeah. Eventually. Eventually. That'll be exciting. I'm not going to be actually, like, singing, like, nicely. So don't don't get the wrong idea. I'm not gonna have nice vocals. It'll just be being like, yeah, 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 except with like filters and random stuff on it. That sort of thing. <laughs> or saying weird words. You wanna know something funny actually is I think uh, those little voice clips and stuff, if you think of like any kind of dance music or dubstep where they have like voice samples, like Skrillex is a really good example, for, for example. And I think, like, the dance music lends itself really well, because you can just throw random stuff in there. It sounds great. <laughs> but I was writing some lyrics the other day, and I was like, this is kind of dark. Like, because I listen to a lot of metal stuff, so a lot of the stuff in my brain is from, like, metal songs, and it's, you know. But mostly I've been listening to Power Wolf, so it's all this weird, like, religious werewolf hell, like, all this weird you know, <laughs> melting pot of, like, dark metal stuff. And I thought, that's that's kind of weird. But then I thought, well, you know, if I made, like, a dance song or, like, a really happy song with, like, these weird, like, humans are doomed or something vocals, that might be an interesting contrast. So that might be kind of funny. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll We'll figure it out. It'll be, it'll be fun. But I think vocals are something that I would just put on every track in a certain album, or not. So I might have, like, a dance album with lyrics and one without. I don't know. Thinking of trying to bit crush your voice, see if it fits music better. Sounds like it's coming from a similar machine, but without putting it through the hardware. Yeah, that sort of thing. 
So I was thinking of doing it the way, like, I don't know, Hilly, if you were in Donut Shoes thing he was shown earlier. Um, but yeah, there's like that sort of thing where I guess you take it and you put it through the Game Boy and you do it that way, or you put it through LSDJ. But then the other thing I was thinking of was just throwing it on top. So I'll probably do both, honestly, because there's one specific, uh, like, voice changer thing that I really, really, really want to get, but it's a little pricey, so I can't really get it right now. Uh, especially since I made a made uh, a little bit of a financial mistake, so that's a little stressful right now. But anyways, <laughs> aside from that, um, actually on that note, I'm not going to be buying as many games for Spooky Tober as I thought I would be, because I have to watch my money, because I made a mistake. Anyways, that's no good. But I'm hoping for Christmas I can get myself. Um, it's called Manipulator. It's by Infected Mushroom. So if you've heard of Infected Mushroom, you've heard their stuff, and you've heard the weird voice stuff on there, you know why I'm excited about it. So I really want to get that and get that going. I think that would be super cool. And I think it would fit my style pretty well, because I have, like, lyrics and poetry and stuff that I, like, I want to say. But I'm not going to get someone to, like, come in and sing, and I'm not going to- I'm certainly not going to sing nicely. But if I can just throw in little words and phrases or whatever, I think it, I think it'd be a neat little layered thing. So, but I know a lot of people who listen to music. One of the biggest things is like vocals or no vocals. So I'm not sure if I actually want to mix them or not. You know what I mean? So, sing nicely. No, you can't make me. I can't even make me. I can't sing nicely. The extent of me singing in public is just what you guys hear when I'm singing along to, like, Fall Guys or something. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, do you guys want to hear some stuff from the new album? The new album, guys! New album! New Halloween album I've been working on. Whoops. Here, I'll show you. Look, we've got... Um, I made a song called No Nope. That might be about zombies, actually. Wait, I have one about zombies. It doesn't matter. Uh, we've got one called Can't Hide. That one's about robots trying to take over the world. Consume, which is uh, not about Nick Kelly from Street Fighter, but very much inspired by him and his theme song. Um, Nasher, which isn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be based on the name. But I might have to work some spookiness into it. Wolf Heart, which is probably going to end up on my metal album or something. Uh, Trapped. This one's about your inner demons. Um, Bubble is not for the Halloween album. <laughs> Boop Zero. You know what? I was wanting to rename Bubble. Maybe I'll call it Bubble Zero for you. Here, this is what Bubble sounds like. Yeah, not spooky. That one's four, that one's four, and these are eight. Oh, this one's two, and this one's... Okay, so this one's a little bit of a mess. We'll have to... <laughs> we'll call it Bubble Zero. Uh, how am I going to fit? I mean, Bubble, if you... <laughs> bubble. Let's <laughs> spell Bubble with no uh, vowels. That's funny. Bubble. B -b 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 I should have put B U B L. Let's put B U B L instead. This this looks like. Also, you'll notice uh, all of these songs have left to right panning, woo, and echoey stuff, and they sound better. Largely because of defense mechanism showing me stuff. Dude, oh my god! Don't be creeped out. I dreamed about you last night. <laughs> 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 I dreamed about you, Defense Mech, because we were talking about 
doing more like collaboration streams and stuff. And I was like, man, I wish there was a way that we could stream and like both have our LSDJs going and both be in control of them and and like both be talking, you know, like this, like me talking with me LSDJing, you talking and you LSDJ and everything here. And we have our own buttons and we have our own everything. And it was so weird, but it was like, it was like when I was a little kid and I had like a friend coming over to play or something. I dreamed that you were coming over and you were like bringing your Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna like use our link cables and like I don't know. <laughs> so if you're ever in Canada, I have a link cable, so you don't need to bring one. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh jeez. Anyway. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. So that was bu <laughs> that was bubble. You will go to Canada. Okay. And bring. Real talk though, like, I really, um, I, I was like, man, I wish there was someone here that was into modding Game Boys and stuff. So, that would be cool. If you, seriously, if you come here sometime, we'll have to, like, mod up some Game Boys. And, and whatever. You can see how slowly I solder stuff, because I'm so scared of soldering. So, like, I'm gonna melt everything, I'm gonna burn the house down. <laughs> Six blocks, that's impressive. All my songs are like 1B blocks. Well, also hi. Uh, <laughs> hi and welcome. Yeah, a lot of my songs are pretty small. Like these ones are all kind of in the works. I'm not sure if it's impressive or like if you have smaller songs, it could be because you're using more efficient techniques, which I doubt is the case with me. Or it could just be it's more likely that you're just not using a lot of stuff that takes up a bunch of memory. Trying to get .exe to marry you so you can visit. How would your GF feel about that, though? <laughs> anyway. I'm Also, I'm pretty sure you can visit without being married to someone here. Pretty sure. She doesn't care. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, go ahead, right? It's, it's legal here. I guess it depends what state you're in, right? Gay marriage is still illegal in some places in the states i think that's crummy so crummy anyways i actually ended up getting a short soldering lesson from joe bleeps at a chip gig last year it was pretty cool not had the chance to try out the tips and tricks yet since the borders are closed i thought it was hard to visit i oh okay so we're talking covid times not in general i don't know if well let's say i don't know if you want to come here during covid but i mean it seems like the states is kind of one of the worst places to be right now so, I don't know. Everything, like, I've just been talking as if there isn't a pandemic right now. Because I'm just thinking about in general, really. It's like, yeah, everything is on hold. Like, we're not doing anything right now. But, <laughs> if you married him, would they let you through the border? <laughs> what? <laughs> focus, what did I walk into? Hey, Focus. Um. Well, I was talking about, here. here's a recap. I was talking about... My Halloween album because I'm working on some I was working on some spooky songs and then Defense Mech popped in which reminded me that I had dreamed about him last night so I told him about the dream that I had where he came to visit and he brought his Game Boy and we were, <laughs> we were playing LSDJ together and it was cool and then he said he wanted to come to Canada but he has to marry another chip team musician first because apparently you can't get through the border if you're not married to a Canadian it's pretty typical stream stuff really <laughs> In general, I will go to Canada. You you better let me know when you're in Canada. You're probably not going to be anywhere near me, but I don't know. Maybe we can meet up somewhere. Even malls have people waiting in line for every store. It's, I mean, that's how it is here too, but I don't know. Like, everywhere you go, it's, well, we, um, certain parts of Canada are in different levels of, like, emergency. And ours just got upgraded, so that sucks. <laughs> but, like, you have to wear a mask if you're out in public. You have to be two meters or six feet away from everybody unless you can prove that they're in your household type of thing. Um, yeah, you have to stay home if you're sick. I mean, th that you should do anyways, really. So, but it's it's kind of crazy because, like, um, it's, yeah, it's, like, crazy. And they say, like, if you have any symptoms, you're supposed to self-isolate for 14 days. 
And two of the symptoms are like sore throat and headache. And those are things that happen to me anyway. So I had a sore throat and I was out of work for two weeks. And I was like, well, this kind of rocks though. <laughs> like I had it, you know. But they're like, nope, you have to self-isolate. And I'm like, all right. I mean, I didn't get to go anywhere else. But I mean, I don't really go anywhere else anyways. <laughs> hey, Kate Ash. Uh, let's see. It's legal to marry whoever you want. Okay. In all states now, but only one person. The church or whoever can deny marrying you, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Churches can be kind of rude about it, I guess. Marriage is weird, you guys. It's weird. It's a weird thing. Is it true Canada's extending how long their borders closed? That I don't know. I don't actually know about the border because I don't really travel much. Sometimes, um... No, I don't really travel much, actually. <laughs> Sometimes my dad will just scoot across the border because you can get stuff shipped to the States. So we have, there's like a US place we get stuff shipped to and we'll go pick it up there. Because sometimes things will be, like, free shipping to the States or, like, $50 shipping to Canada. So we're like, well, we'll just drive over the border and get it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? I think that was an autocorrect. I meant to say Mary, not Maddie. Canada's a free country. You can Maddie whoever you want. I don't know about the States. <laughs> It is super salty chicken for lunch, so I'm really, I'm really thirsty, sorry. I'm gonna hear a lot of that water bottle. Okay, now, are you still wanting to do Fall Guys tomorrow sometime? Canada's eight hours away from you, but Jet's just entering it. We're pretty close to, uh, um, North Dakota. Like, we're, we're pretty close to the border. Yeah, you're on. That's awesome. I'll, um, eat a cabbage every time Kimmy says sorry or a. Wait, did I just apologize for something? I don't remember saying sorry. I probably said a. That, you know, sometime during the afternoon, no set time. Okay. Try name as early as you can. Okay, nice. You do not have to apologize for eating salt. Oh, is that what I did? I <laughs> it was more like, sorry. You're going to be hearing a lot of this. A. <laughs> Have a good lurk, K-Dash. I'll, I'll set something up in the... I made a new Discord channel for, for grouping, so... That A was on purpose to emphasize the squeaky bottle. Anyway, do you guys want to hear some music or what? <laughs> Here, how about... Tremble? Is this the one that... Uh, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. Not Tremble, not Tremble. What was the other one called? Uh, Trapped. Trapped. You guys need to see my dark side. Are you shrugging at me? You're not excited for spooky music? I gotta admit, it's not... <laughs> hydrate. <laughs> hydrate focus? Okay. I'll hydrate. I'll play this song. I think this is the one. It's pretty well done. Yeah, this is the one. I remember adding those E commands. All right, I will do all three of those things. I'll, I'll drink the water first. I'm not... I'm not gonna save the game. I haven't done anything. Mm. I'll save the game as soon as I make a change, okay? Here, okay. And I'm sitting up straight, and I will stretch while this plays. But this song is called Trapped. It's about your inner demons.
There you go. So that one's called Trap, and I think it's done. And I will save, because I did change something. I realized I didn't have that um, table on uh, step or whatever it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, so Defense Mech. Thank you for saying it's cool. Thank you. I think it's really cool, too. I love this. Um, I actually love this. And this part, I think, is really neat. So, starts out with, oops, nothing, and then... So when you have it all together... It's pretty cool. So I used all kinds of panic. So by, by the way, guys, if you guys are listening on headphones, it's best because you'll hear the, the sounds and instruments like dancing between your ears. They're hopping around everywhere. It sounds way better on headphones. So, um, and by the way, I confirmed that the headphones on my Game Boy are super buzzy too. So I forget what you were saying about that. If that might be the volume knob, I might have to take the thing apart again. Maybe just shoot some air in the volume. I don't know. Um, and then here we have all our, like, echoes. So we have, like, our main, our main instrument, and then the echo, which is doing an octave higher. Can clean the knob without taking it apart. Is it the knob itself? Like, just the, the little thingy that you roll to change the volume? Because I swear, like, I always go in there, I go in between all little teeth with a little q-tip, and the q-tip gets absolutely shredded and it's awful. Hmm. Let me see this thing. Yeah, like, it looks pretty clean. Like, there's no, like, scuzz on it or anything. I don't know. Also, did you guys... People who have used multiple generations of Game Boys... Have you noticed the volume uh, thing is opposite? Like, on the Game Boy DMG, you, you roll it up to make it louder. And the Game Boy Pocket is like that, too, although... They put it on the left side instead of the right. No, wait. No, yeah, it's on the right. Yeah. And then the Game Boy Color, you roll the thing down to make it louder. I wonder why they did that. You know what my guess is? My guess is if you're sitting there holding your Game Boy, and there's a few different ways you can grip the Game Boy, right? Which you do with your fingers if you just wrap them around the back. I guess I do the lattice thing. I, like, intertwine my fingers behind the back of the Game Boy. But, uh, you can do you put your, like, index fingers up along the side? I wondered if that was because if you have headphones in, this is, like, super specific and might have nothing to do with it, but this is my theory. And this would be my reason to have it like this. If you have the DMG and you're holding the Game Boy and it slips and your finger moves along the thing and it slips and that side of the Game Boy drops down, you just cranked it right in your ears and it's super loud. Whereas if you're on the newer ones on the Game Boy Color and you scroll it up, or you roll it up, it'll just get quieter, so you're not gonna hurt your ears. Think it's because they moved to a one-board design? I mean, that makes more sense than my theory. My theory is just, I'm just concerned for, for the kitty's ears and children's ears. So, I don't know. But yeah, this, this volume knob is clean as a whistle, so I don't know. I don't know to... I don't know. But this Game Boy still has the little Mario sticker on the back. It's got both it's got both stickers. It's got the one with the barcode. And then it's got um it's got the maintenance thing. It's got the one eight hundred number. Do you think I should call them and say why is my speaker buzzy? <laughs> Do you think this number is still in service? one 800 Nintendo Authorized Repair Centers. Repair. Nobody says repair. What the heck? Installation, maintenance, and service. Hey, can you guys put a backlight in my Game Boy? They'll be like, what? What are you doing? The knob must be the same since it's exposed on the left side instead of the right. It seems backwards, but the knob itself is rotating in the same direction. That, I was kind of wondering... Can try dropping rubbing alcohol on the back side of the knob. There may not be visible dirt. Yeah. Because that part's hard to clean. To turn off and on again. You want to hear it? I mean, it's off right now. If I turn it on, I wonder if you can...
I don't know if you can... If I hold it up to the speaker, can you hear the noise from it? I don't want it to be too loud. Can you hear that? It sounds good. Okay, I don't know. I wasn't sure if I'd get some weird feedback or something. I don't know. I didn't want to, like, put it right up by the mic. But it's just, like, it's just, like, you know, it's got that. And then it's also got the, like, staticky noise. Which isn't as bad if you're actually playing music, but... Anyway, it's, like, every Game Boy that I've plugged headphones into does that, but this one's really bad for it. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to check the speaker connection or the speaker itself. Maybe I didn't clean it well enough. But if it's the headphones too, then it's not the speaker. I'll, t I'll try the, the little volume thingy again. I'll probably try blowing some canned air in there too, just just because it's haunted. Maybe. <laughs> well, you guys saw my Game Boy Pocket is haunted. You saw the ghost in there. <laughs> A ghost in my Game Boy. Hey, my ghosts are my friends. Did you know that Zeal is a ghost? Zeal's a ghost. He's a little ghost. He's a little bat dog ghost. I need to do like a high, high detail drawing of him so that I can make more detailed emotes. I want to upgrade from 8-bit to like 16-bit and have like nice shadows and stuff. I have like basic shadows on there, but I want to have like, I don't know. I feel like he's a little bit hard to read in <laughs> 3D zeal. I'll have a low poly and a high poly version for when he's closer far away. Because <laughs> I'm just thinking like, he's adorable. I think he's adorable, but it's kind of hard to actually give him like expressions. So I don't know. I want to keep the 8-bit look, but then, of course, you don't have that much detail, so it's kind of kind of tricky. So, But I think a cabbage emote will be nice. I think an eel emote will be nice. Maybe eventually a few different eels. That w That's the dream. That's the dream, you guys. We just need to get enough subs so that we can get an, a three-piece eel. Need at least a four-color palette. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, because I think I just have the three. I was thinking a brighter purple would be good, but then I realized it was really close to the Twitch color, and I thought, oh, that's... <laughs> but that's my favorite color. I think I might have actually, like, eyedroppered that off of a Game Boy Color. So, like, the grape Game Boy Color, that's the one I started with as a kid. That is my favorite color. I'm pretty sure that was my favorite color before I got the Game Boy, but that just reinforced it. But I'll I'll do that. Do that. Um What are we doing here? Let's see. So So this is doing Yeah, so it's just changing. You had a great Game Boy color too, but your first was a gray DMG. Nice. My first DMG was a gray one last year. <laughs> I've amassed, like, 13 Game Boys since then. That was the Mario sticker, too. Nice. Nice. Yeah, my, my little Grape Game Boy, it's, it's got a heart sticker that I put on it when I was a kid, and that's... It used to have a dog sticker, but the dog sticker got worn off, so then I put a heart sticker. And I am not modding that thing. I'm not touching it. That's from my Oma, and I'm just leaving it alone. So I do want to get a Game Boy Color and put the the fancy backlit screen in there and everything. I guess that's the main thing. Fancy buttons and stuff. I gotta put through a, an order to retro modding. Oh man, I want to get a glow-in-the-dark shell for my Game Boy Pocket. It'll be so cool. It, it's always in a case though, so I'm not sure. I'll have to like leave it. I don't know. It's like I want to leave it in the sun, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to leave electronics in the sun. Anyway, right, so this is like the lead instrument, and then this is the echo version of the lead instrument. So it doesn't have the little plingy sound, but so it's going to step through, yeah, it's going to step through these, and I had it on play for some reason. So the first time it plays, it's going to be left, or it's going to be center and then right, 
And the second time it plays is going to be cent uh, center and then left, so it alternates. They stopped selling shells? What, for Game Boy Pocket? No, wait, no. I have I have a shopping cart from, like, last week. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Game Boy Color? Uh. Oh, no, my cart's empty. I need to log in. Are they out of shells? Are you kidding me? Hey, they have a ditto shell. That's cute. I know they were out of stock for backlights forever. <laughs> Maybe only DMG. Yeah, I think so. Because um, I really wanted to... Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to do a DMG that looked like the classic one, but like a fancy one. So I think that'll be my the one that I put like the... Um, that I actually drill into the shell and stuff and do like the actual sound mods and everything. And I wanted to get the olive backlight screen because it'll look like the original screen except it'll have a light so it'll be like a fancy modern version of the old aesthetic. I think that would look really cool. Um, but I was gonna get... Where is it? Where is it? What? It's not, it's not showing up. It's probably under Game Boy. I was gonna get a glow in the dark Game Boy Pocket shell. Um, whatever. I can't. I can't find it right now. They have some really nice stuff though, really nice. And the backlights are dirt cheap. They're like ten bucks, ten to fifteen or whatever. Unless you get the really fancy ones. You left for a bit. What did you miss? Uh, you might have missed the song. I'm not sure if you were here and I was playing the song or not. Otherwise, we'd just been nerding out talking about modding Game Boys. So. <laughs> might, it might have been boring anyways if you're not into that we're talking about Game Boy shells and stuff and also instruments if anybody has uh, questions about any of the sounds or anything in here or if you're like wait what's this just ask away and I'll, I'll do my best because when I explain stuff I learn it better myself too so asking and answering questions is great Retromati had really high quality shells. They did! Like my blue one, you guys. I think you guys saw the blue one. I don't know if PLSNG saw it. Is there something I should be calling you for short, by the way? Or just PLSNG? <laughs> oh, I had it I had it pinned for the longest time. Wait, it should be under <laughs> oh yeah, and I made I made that little guide of where the screws go. I was really proud of myself for that. That's quite a resource, you guys. Paul saying, oh, that makes sense. Nice. Where was this? Oh, here. I'll I'll show you guys. This is the my most recent, well, not really my most recent. That's my most um, ambitious mod project. Everything in there is new except for the circuit board and the speaker, I think, basically. So it's got that pretty shell. It's got new buttons. It's got an NES D-pad. That's the only thing that I found, you guys, with the retro, this is a retro modding shell, and I bought the NES buttons from retro modding, and the D-pad fits. The A and B buttons do not. So the A and B buttons are in my red buzzy Game Boy that I was talking about earlier, with which has a standard shell. So. Anyways. But I, I like the heck out of that, uh, that DMG that I worked on, so. That's cool. <clears throat> oh my god, I need more water. This is hard. Oh, stupid salty. How do you get rid of the salties, you guys? When you eat something really salty and you just are so thirsty. Oh my god. Eat chocolate. That's a good idea. How about in 10 minutes we'll take a break? <laughs> it's been almost an hour. Barely gotten anything done. I think this song is done. I think this song is done. Oh, this part was cool. So this song's about demons. And inner demons. 
and stuff. So this was supposed to be like the screaming demons in your head. You have a glow in the dark Game Boy Pocket, but the power switch didn't fit. What? Had to use the old one. Oh, it came with one? Or you like bought the buttons and the power switch that came with it didn't fit. Sounds very Metroid. Ooh, that is a compliment. I'm, d I'm trying, like last year, I don't, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but the Ghost in the Game Boy, that might be the best record I've made yet. So I'm trying to do another Halloween album. I'm trying to make it, like, spookier and better. And I think I'm using more techniques that I didn't know about back then. But dang, like... Um... There was some, like, crazy... Well, here, like, this is the beginning of the, the Haunted Game Boy song. Let's listen to this. How do I outspook that? This is the spookiest thing I ever made. How do I top that? <laughs> Actually, this song I used to sing along. I remember when I showed it to my parents the first time. I was like, guys, this is so cool. Look at all these weird sounds I made. Because I was just experimenting and trying to make the weirdest sounds I could. And there's that one part where it's like... Wah, wah. And I always, it always cracked me up at first. So I was like, mom, look, this part is like... Wah, you know? And she just... She was just laughing at me. <laughs> that was fun. Just all those little sounds and stuff. Um... The two songs about ghosts were really pretty spooky. So like you can you can hear they sound more a little simpler because I didn't know how to do as many things but like the melodies and the sounds I think are still like spot on and I love them so now I'm trying to make something that also sounds spooky but is also song like and I don't know but I'm happy I'm pretty happy with, with, with this I think it's pretty spooky Yeah, I think that'll work. So that song, let's call that one done. By the way, Focus, I don't know if you're still in here or if I lost you somewhere along the way. I saved it. I saved the game. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's still in here or if she buggered off. But anyway. Um, what else? What was the other one? We've got... So that one's done. Okay, wait. I need to... Where's my little... I have a little book of what I'm working on. So otherwise I'll forget. Um... This is what I mean of like I'm I'm like not really a millennial because I've got my little books here with all my stuff. Okay. Did I not Oh I don't think I started one yet here. Dang. Alright. Alright guys. Halloween album. I'm gonna write them write them down as we go here. Ah, uh, where's my book? I have another book for this actually. Another book for this. Is this it? No, that's my game dev book. I have too many books, you guys. Okay, here we go. This one is albums. There we go. So we've got our Halloween album. It's gonna be very cool. Okay, Halloween 2020. Um, I had I, I had a really good idea for a title for it. But I was lying in bed, and that was, like, the one time that I didn't roll over to, like, grab my notebook and just, like, blindly scrawl what I was thinking of, and I forgot.
forgot what it was. We'll put Halloween 2020. Uh, so trapped. And we're going to say done. And we put a check mark because that one's done. Totally done. Girlfriend has all kinds of notepads and writes everything down on paper and pen. Nice. I think that, that we would get along. I mean, and she also likes the idea of dressing up guinea pigs. I think we'd get along. So if you come to Canada, you should bring her. God, except that if you don't document ideas, you'll lose them, but more ideas will come. I know, I know. I just, I was really lazy. I was in bed and I was like, nope, I'm half asleep already. I'm just, you know. It was really good, too. That's okay. Man, yeah, it's bugging me. It'll, it'll come back or I'll think of something better. So this song is done. I think it's done. I think it's good. It's got the panning. It's got the spooky sounds. It sounds big and it sounds full. It sounds awesome. So that's good. We got Trapped. Uh, we got Tremble. This is the other one that's closest to being done. This one's about giants. Amazing can go eat your taco in a bag or walking tacos. See you later. Yeah, see you later or in the next stream tomorrow. I think we're doing some Fall Guys. Uh, so if you're around for that, that'll be cool. Otherwise, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Um, <clears throat> this song. Yeah, this one's about giants. This one was a little bit... A little bit... Wait, was this a little bit metal one? Yeah, look, I got triplets. You can hear the panning. It's gonna be good. Here we go. You guys are gonna like this one. Probably. Yeah, that's about giants. So it's kind of picturing like they're kind of coming up over the horizon or something. They're just coming out or kind of the fog, the fog of war or something. They're just coming out and you're just like, oh dang. You know, you're like, oh man. And uh, so there were a few things with this one. So you had this little intro. So like, oh yeah. This is also like the lowest tempo, second lowest tempo song I think I've ever made. The lowest one was at 68 and that one's on here too somewhere. 
the 80. But this one, this one was just, I just called it rumble because I wanted to have octave one. And then, so I just added these and then a little tiny pulse, or not pulse, a little pitch up. Yeah, so that's what that does. And then meanwhile, I've got this sound. I love this. So that happens a lot. So that's just this. Oh yeah, and then I've got the little, this little guy down here. And there's our intro. So these are delays to make triplets. And then this is the main bass instrument, and then the little the little echoey one is three. So there's that going on, and then we've got just a little bass and throwing it to one side and then the other. And then here we've got... Oh yeah, this is just for the intro. So this is like our uh, noise kick. Uh, and then the hi-hat noise. Wait, that one doesn't have a table. I wonder if that one should have a table. But then a the little... That's a really good sound. And then I, I did a weird uh, envelope thing. So I don't usually do E commands on the noise channel, so that's... I guess that's something I'm not gonna have to really worry about after this. Whatever. Wait, is this already...? Yeah, whatever. Great noise channel work, thank you! I'm very happy with it. Then we have this thing. And then nothing. And then... It just, it just adds so much. And then, I love this, I have to be honest, I love this. It's just the same bar over and over. I just love this, it's just got this trudging doom sound. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And then here we're doing kind of the same thing, but eighth notes. And just throwing- I think this is- this is such a good idea. Just like using the O command, just- just throwing it to one side or another just makes it sound like you're in the sound. And then here we just had the same thing like the, um, bass. But then just- Yeah, so that sounds really nice all together, I think. And what was this one? Oh, yeah. This is- this- this part actually was inspired by that, um, this thing. So I have them kind of alternating, so if we do... It's like the same. Call and response. There you go. And actually, what if we did... Ooh, I think I know where we're going with this here. 
This is exciting. Yeah, so, oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna make it a new one just in case. Wait, not two. What? I thought it was two. Oops, what the heck was it on? Five? It's five. It's not two, it's five. So actually, I'm gonna kick this up a bit. Oops. Yeah, this will be. Except I can't. I wonder if they should be the other way around. Maybe the noise one should be first. In this, in this case. Well, let's see, because this one is never on... It's always on the second bar. Yeah, so I feel like it should be kind of second. No, I changed my mind. This one should be first. <laughs> because if you think about it, this almost sounds like a lightning strike. Okay, I know you can't hear lightning because that's thunder, but this one's more like the thunder. So, if I take all this, oops, and put it like here, ooh, and then we can kind of, let's try this. Hmm. What if we give this like a crazy vibrato and just throw it down? Just throw it down! That sounds kind of weak. Uh, let's do... Yeah, this can be a new instrument. What the hey? What the hey? I'm gonna call it Pshong. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna call it Pshong. <laughs> Always name your instruments. What the A? And I'll just put this on here. I always do F4. Let's do F3. No, let's do F5. Yeah, living on the edge. Yeah, so. Da, 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 na, na. Oops. Was it this note? Oh yeah, it was just... Yeah, that's it. What if we just be crazy and just do... a kill command here. Something like that, maybe. This works. We can have a five bar. We don't have any five bars, right? 
No, but we can. We can throw in a little five bar thing. Uh. What? What? Okay. Who does that? No. Let's do ding 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 da 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 da. That's too slow. Kill commands. And we'll shoot this one up a little. Shoo! Mm, this needs to be... No, this needs... Yeah. If you start on line zero, wait, what? What if you started on line one instead is love? <laughs> start on one instead of zero? Wait, with what? <laughs> with the note itself or with like... These need to be like way more. It'd be a new instrument. Select and cut line zero to seven and paste on line one. On here? On this specific, um, what's it called? Phrase? Because then I'll have a kill command here. Unless you're talking about on a different phrase. What? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just stick them here. What? Oh. <laughs> we can try that. Oh, I see what you mean. Cause it sounds like a right? It sounds it sounds like two notes. Okay, so I don't know if this is me hearing things, but with this combined with the noise, does it sound like triplets? I don't know if that's why you're saying that, but does it kind of sound like triplets? Cause this almost sounds like it's like wow wow. I think I'm imagining it to an, to an extent, but it almost sounds like bump ban it bump ban it. I don't know if that's... I don't know. <laughs> okay, these need to be... These are gonna be Peshev. <laughs> these need to be supremely vibratos. Mm. Why does this sound worse? Playing with your perception of three over four beats. I like it. I like it. Let's do that. They work together. I like it. Good idea. 
Ah. I want this to be like, like really crunchy. How can I make this sound crunchier? This is how I, I know, we'll make it super crunch. Yeah. Wait, 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 did that actually do something? Wait, what's going on? No, I'm, I'm imagining things, right? That's not doing anything, right? <laughs> I'm just imagining, just imagining things. Oh, that's a little better. It doesn't sound bad enough. It sounds too good. Why is it, why does it sound too good? Maybe it's too smooth. No. Usually that's enough to make things sound chaotic. Hmm. Ah, this thing that I've never touched ever? That's a good idea. Oh. Why don't I ever mess with this? Wow, that's not really doing anything, is it? It kind of is. Okay. I also set a different V command on each line of the table. That's true. I could also have it do random. Uh, shoot, wait. Wait, so then can I just do this? Whoa. Okay, that's cool, but not what I want. So let's just do like you said. Oops. Why am I getting all these random ones? Okay. Why is it doing O? Oh, stop doing O. Oh. Jeez.
F6 and go up. It's like this. This sounds like. Okay, well, that one, that's cool. That has. But it's like this sounds so chaotic. But then these ones don't. Okay, I'll hear this. I want these to sound really bad, you know what I mean? The sweep. Oh, what do I want to put here? What, are sweep... what does sweep do again? What is this? Oh! That's like... <clears throat> this is like my coin sounds. Ooh, wait. That's a little better. Fights with the V came in. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. I'm pretty sure I don't have F sharp in here. Oh, you can't even hear that. Give the dog a treat. Okay, I'll have to find the dog and a treat, but I will do that in a moment. Maybe set pitch to tick. Step. <clears throat> wow, let me see a difference. Yeah, maybe that's... have F sharp in here, right? That would be a... Because I can put a crunchy note. That's the other thing. Although there's nothing for it to crunch with, really. Oh, yeah. I've got B flat and E flat. So we're in... What is that? B flat? B flat is B flat and E flat. Step is only different for P command. Well, you know what? Uh, if I believe that it sounds different, then it sounds different. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just... Let's just put it on fast then. <laughs> Not really B flat, you have a different mode. Don't think B flat sounds like home. 
Oh, it could be a different mode. You know how I am with those. I just... I just pick a key and sort of go from there. I'll take it. Okay, so now we'll have to do something in here that goes with that. All right, all right. We'll take a break and we'll get the dog a treat when we come back. Why is this not? Front base. Oh, it's muted. <laughs> like, is there a reason I can't hear this? Wait, what if we take... Call it Rumble P. Hang on, hang on. And we gotta do this first and then. So this is gonna mess up everything, right? Or not. You have to take a break to be back in a little while. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, this one. So it'll be zero, three, and then six. And I go da 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 da, whatever. Yeah, no, break time. Break time, we'll figure something out with this. Ah, take a little break. And then when we get back, we'll give the dog a treat. So I'll go track down the dog and I will track down a treat. And in the meantime, we listen to more of last year's Halloween album. Uh, we just listened to you, Brains. You know, I'll put it on the Haunted Game Boy. That's a good song, in my humble opinion. I'll get some chocolate, because that'll Solve, solve my salty mouth issue, probably, maybe. I don't care if it does. Oh, actually, I'll make a hot chocolate. Woo, hot chocolate. Okay, this will be a little bit longer short break. Maybe, like, let's see, how long are these songs? Three, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say, like, eight minutes, okay? We'll listen to about three songs, about eight-minute break. Okay, guys? Uh, is that what I was going to do? Yeah, okay. Let's do that.
I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. No, stop. There we go. Whoop, we're back. We're back. And it's Henry's snack time. Woo, it's time for Henry's snacks. Time for Henry snacks. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Henry, do you want a treat? Hey. Do you want a treat? Hey, little dog. Are you guys back from break? Maybe I'll leave it here for a sec. Hilly, are you there? I don't want you to miss the, the dog treat. I don't want you to miss the dog treat. Because you wanted to give him the treat. I'll clean my glasses for a second. Gotta give this dog a treat. Yeah, you! He looked up, he's like, what? I know two of those words. I know the word dog. I know the word treat. I'm a dog. I like treats. That's what he's thinking. That's what he's thinking. Hey, so what you're thinking, little guy? It sure is. Sure is. Sure is. All right. I want to make sure you guys are there. I think you might still be on break. Okay. Oh, is stream being weird? I think it's okay. It's being okay, right? It's fine? Yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, you guys. Maybe... Maybe we'll wait a second. Just... Oh, I'm trying to clean my glasses. There's so much hair on them. Glasses struggles. Well, I got my hot chocolate. Here, you know what? I'll give it a minute, okay? Because I know you guys were taking a break, too. So, you know what? I'll work on this for a sec. You guys are back. We'll give the dog a treat. We gotta wait for people to be back, Henry. Gotta make sure people are around, yeah? Because you're so cute. You're so gosh darn cute. They want to give you treats. But they want to be there for it. And that's fair. That's fair. Hey? Okay. What were we doing with this? Oh yeah. Hmm. Maybe this can kind of... Wait, why is this happening? What? Oh, it's a pulse. That's why. Duh. Maybe. I should be louder. could work.
That could work too, actually. I'm try that. Um, or. This can actually go just be left or right. Let me try left. No, this has to be right, I think. kind of cool actually not quite so maybe I could do like Um, kind of like it to just be five. This can just be rumbling, actually. Actually, no.
I think the only thing in the table, yeah. So let's just say no table. Something like that.
see how this sounds here. Sammy's backwards. slow it down here for like no reason so we want okay tempo 80 mm. oh, okay t50 is 80 then Wait a second, what? 272? What? 
Why is it so fast? Sixty four is probably good. Oh, forty eight. <laughs> Maybe here. That could work. What's this timing? T20? Oh, that doesn't work. How's that sound though? We don't have that. Slowed it down a tiny bit. I can miss this is a good idea. Yeah, we don't need this. Oh yeah, those are- wait. These should all be the same length. Right, these are not. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What if we do... Okay, what if we just try to be simple? Take this, and just plunk! Oh, wait a second, that's not what I wanted. That's sort of interesting. And then this, who cares? Just so we know what those are. Uh, let's just get rid of- oops. Let's just get rid of these. We all need them.
that works. That works. Okay, that's good. This one's good. Uh. Da, 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 da. A C E B D F. No, that sounds bad. that that's cool um and then this yeah that one's a mess this one who cares it's this uh this one i wanted to do yeah, let's just yeah let's just put f and mess it up again so i have two of these and we don't want this 244s Wait, that's not right. Okay, these can go higher. I think these are supposed to start at... Uh... Yeah, this is right except for these notes are weird. Um, C is fine. C sharp is not okay. That's probably fine. And then here, we just don't want two in a row. We won't hear them. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need this. Let's see how this sounds.
Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's clean this up because I made a bunch of crap I didn't need to. <laughs> a bunch of stuff I didn't need. Okay. <sighs> Save it. Hopefully to mess it up. Let's see how these parts play together. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's just this little thing. See how the transition is here. Moment of truth. That's pretty cool. around. Dang, damn it. Oh, Henry says hi. Okay, what if we try... Wait, that's the one with nothing. So want... Oh yeah, this is what we want. We're just gonna put it in there. We're just gonna put it right in there. And when it gets here, we have to jump in there. Hey, noisy dog. He needs a treat. But not right now. He's being noisy. Oh, hey, Defense Mike is back. That means you can have your cookie, but you have to. Oh, oh. oh we have to get ready. Good's here. Put it down here. Oh, what a cute pup. Don't you dare drop hair in my hot chocolate, okay? Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. Yeah, and then we want to go here. Cute dog. Alright, okay, see what sounds. Something. It's. Wait. Because I'm. Yeah. You know what? It's fine. Let's just save it and we'll work on something else. But first, first, it's Henry snack time. Henry snack time. Henry, are you ready for a snack? 
Are you ready to get a little snack? You wanna have a treat? <gasps> I see those ears perk up. Okay, come here, you come here. Give me the dog. Come here, dog. Oof. That's a good boy. Oh, you're falling. Aw, <laughs> instantly comfy. Aw, what a sweetie. Okay. Uh. Let's try giving him a nice crunchy pork rind. See if he'll eat a pork rind today. Hey. Put the microphone there. Oh, you're so sweet. Look at him. Look how sweet he is. Oh, puppy. Mwah. He's a good puppy. All right, he's going to get a nice crunchy pork rind. Hey, Henry. Oh, ooh, you want a pork grind? Let's oh, scooch closer to the mic. Okay, here you go. Oh, good boy, here. Here, take it. Oh, wait, you got to earn it right here. Friends? Are we friends? Yeah, friends. Oh, good boy. What a good little friend. Yeah. That's what we have for Shake a Paw. We say friends instead. Here you go. Take that. There you go. Oh, then you can eat it. Eat it. Take it. Take it. It's numbers. You like these. Yeah, you like these. And chat likes them because they're nice and crunchy. Here. You don't want it? Don't you want it? He's being picky. The, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? This is a pork rind. It's meat. Hey. This is, they're not, they don't look like meat anymore. You want this? No. Let's try a cookie instead. You want a cookie? <gasps> Ooh. You better be my friend for this one. Friends? Yeah, good boy. Okay, here. Here you go. <gasps> cookie. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, don't bite me here there you go you dropped that oh that's a nice pup there you go that was that was nice and crunchy too right was that good you like that he slobbered all over my hands I have to, here, <clears throat> put that back, there, <laughs> I have to hold my hands under him, oh, do you want the pork rind too, you want this too, since you got all slobbery, here, here, take it, <gasps> yeah, take it, <laughs> he threw it on the floor, Henry, here, here, here you go. Here you go. Oh my goodness. Take it. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> he keeps crunching and then putting it back down in my hand. Well, there you go. That good? Well, that's a nice crunch. There you go. Oh, that's good, eh? That's good. All gone. All gone. No, no, never mind. We're closing. No. Never mind. That's enough for now. <laughs> he got two treats. Yeah, you got two. That's... I didn't... Ah. Because I was going to give him the pork rind because it's crunchier. Hey? Hey, you take yummy on. You're such a good dog. You're such a good dog. He gets kisses too. Bonus kisses. There you go. He's a good boy. He gets, um, I was thinking the pork rind is nice and crunchy. And he didn't, I don't know, he took it and he like licked it and then he kind of put it down and I was like, well, you got slobber all over it. I don't want to put it back in the jar, you know. So I had to wake up his taste buds with a cookie. And he ate the cookie. And then he ate the pork rind. So he got both. He got both. And you spoiled pup. So no more treat redemptions. No more dog treat redemptions tonight. Because I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> there. <laughs> so I'll make sure I make a highlight later so that Hilly can watch it. Because I don't know if he's still around or not. There you go. See, now I have a bonus dog in my lap. Yay. 
Oh, you're a good boy. You have cute little paws. You have cute little paws. Okay, let me. I'm gonna take the opportunity to grab some water. I should find um one of these steel water bottles with like a nice big round, big wide uh, mouth. Cause these really skinny ones are really hard to drink out of. You have to make your mouth all small. It's like trying to play trumpet or something. You try to make your mouth all small so you don't spill or anything. Anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> okay, so Trumbull, we got some good work done. I'll have to come back to it because it's not making sense anymore. You know, you get to that point, just not really making sense. Like, okay. Uh, let's work on can't hide. Let's see how this one was going. See how this sounds. Oh yeah, this one has a, a hole in the middle. We have to fill this hole. Let's try to do that. Okay, so this one's about like robots, like scary, spooky robots, like Terminator type stuff. Oh, is this just a one? Hmm. That sort of works. Um. Yeah, let's take 23. 
like that. Okay. something on 8B and E. That actually could work. like that. Thank you. 
No jest ciekawe. Z Indian little, whoops. Z Indian little high hats, but instead of something light and short, I started on the opposite. So this one I wanted to get big. It's a big difference, holy cow.
Okay. I think we got some good stuff to this is cool. Yeah, I like that. Let's uh let's see here. Got chocolate. Descent. Yeah, I'll call it descend. We're just gonna put this. Yeah, whatever. I'll just put it in there. It'll be fine. Okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> Um, what did I change here, though? Did I not 
Canyon? I think this is before I started doing this. Okay, so we want to do step on this one. Oops. Okay, so we're going to have it play. Oops. So to two. Uh. Eight and nine. Okay, okay. So we're gonna have it play uh, eight. So eight, nine, and A are gonna be the same. Except this one's gonna be left. Yeah, so it's gonna be. Oh, shoot. No, eight is gonna be like play nine or play A. That's what we're doing. So it's going to step between these. So then 8 is going to have this, and then 9 is, or, you know, whatever, 9, and then. I think this is right, and then it will just. Okay, wait, do I need a hop thing? Yeah, I do. No, wait. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, this will be good. Yeah. I like this echo too. 
It works well because these notes are pretty short. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. Yeah, I think this will be better there. And actually, while we're at it, while we're at it, Can you add that Echonos helps to use the note just before the most recent one, not always for a lot of the time. Oh. Yeah, like the one before it. So like if... Uh, well, these are all kind of the same. <clears throat> but like here for this one, you mean like use the F, for instance. Just kind of going between them, because I know before you said kind of like three steps in between. I'm just trying to see what sounds good, but yeah, it's a good rule of thumb. Three steps and they have two notes apart. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place, eh? Hey? Like here I want to have an A in here. that don't stand out. You know what I mean? But you can hear this one as a note. some toys. I actually like that.
Sounding spooky. I like it. Yeah, let's put this here. better idea. Let's do... <laughs> it sucks that they're so far apart. So there's never a thing. There you That sounds too happy. Could be a six. Wait, that Does this work? Ooh, this does work.
We did instead of forty two, do like twenty two. Okay, we're gonna do something cool with this. Uh Base two echo Yay So this we're gonna have it play eight as well. No, we're gonna have this one play we're gonna go the other way. Oh god, oh my god. These are too long. Well, I could just... <sighs> Ooh, that sounds like garbage. I like it. How much space I want between them? Oops. 
Uh, I want to make this really crazy. Uh, base three. <laughs> and I want this to be... Well, I guess instead of that, I can just do this. There we go. That is a nice table. like that anyway. That's pretty good. That's some scary robots. Robots? 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 Mm. Um, let's see what this one sounds like because I don't remember. Oh yeah, this one. It just could be about an ancient spirit trying to consume souls.
Dang, that sounds pretty evil. What the heck did I... Was this the R80? I, I knew it! Oh my god. This is perfect. It's a little loud. <laughs> Maybe too loud. It's a little loud. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Ah, oh, my ears. That's harsh, right? That is harsh. Yeah, let's just do four of these. Okay, I thought I had a 1E somewhere, but I guess not. Also, I didn't really need to check, so it's empty, so... <sighs> this is really cool. Thank you. Do you like that? I like that. Thank you for showing me this. That ugly bass. I love it. That ugly kick bass. It's so handy to be able to have two in one. Sometimes you don't even need like proper notes. In the bass, you just need noise. You know, you, you just not noise. You just need sound. You just need like, like a foundation. And this song was inspired by Nikali, who's my favorite Street Fighter character. I would play his song, but I don't want to get DMCA'd or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Donnie XC knows all about that. Doesn't use any real notes. I kind of love that though. It's kind of. There's a time and a place. Maybe more times and more places for certain people. Where did my blanket go? I'm getting cold. Okay. Um. But Nikali's like this ancient mud man. Like, you've probably seen Street Fighter at some point, even if you haven't played it. And there's characters who like electrocute other characters and when they get hit by an electric attack like Blanca is an electric guy, Urien does stuff like that there's some others but anyway if you get hit by like an electric attack your character goes like that and you know they have like their skeleton showing but I, I forgot all about that until I saw um Frequency was playing earlier and he was playing as Akuma and his skeleton was flashing because he was playing against an electric character and I was like Oh, wait a second. That's so crazy. How come I never see that? And I realize it's because I play as Nikali and he's made of mud. So he doesn't have a skeleton, so they don't they do not do that on him. That's so funny. Can we stream Street Fighter when? Hmm. Is it spooky? I actually was thinking about it. They have Halloween costumes and Nikali has a werewolf costume. It might be fun sometime to stream it. If people are interested. I'd only stream five probably because that's the one I like best. Two's all right, too, but I like five. That's what I want to practice. And I went and got my, um, I got my fight stick updated and everything. I didn't, I shouldn't say I got it updated. I upgraded it myself. Freak helped a little bit. Popping in the buttons is, like, the most satisfying thing. Like, when you're putting a Game Boy together, you kind of, like, lay all the buttons nicely so that they stick out of the holes, and then you put those little silicone thingies behind them and you make sure everything's nice you know and then you know but like game boy buttons don't really click a lot well they kind of do not really like the d-pad d-pad's always kind of mushy like that's okay and somehow when i put my blue dmg together the b button is like in there like, the A button sticks up like normal, and the B one is, like, down a bit. And I'm like, how in the heck did I do that? So I'm thinking maybe I didn't push the silicone thing down all the way. Like, you know, there's those little pegs. Maybe I didn't push it down all the way, but ah! And then there's that screen thing that you wanted me to fix that I don't really understand, but I'll have to talk to you about that. And then I wanted to do maybe the, uh, bivert thingy at the same time. So it'll pff, eventually... Could be at the front board isn't screwed into the case enough. 
I, I was messing with the screws and everything. It was hard to fit everything in there. It was like a big sandwich. When you put a lot of stuff in your sandwich and you have to like really hold it shut. And then I screwed part of it in too tight. And then, you know, the power switch, like that top right one on the back, the power switch was too tight. It was like to try to get it open. Anyway, but that's what that clicking sounds like, right? Is the Game Boy. But here, listen to this. I upgraded my joystick. This is the joystick part clicks that much. But this is the buttons. Oh, it's so nice. You like that? Anyways. Um, yeah, I've got this little joystick in here. It's so nice. It's very nice. One of the buttons is kind of scuffed a lot, which drives me nuts, but that's okay. They're nice. They're nice. And I do love Street Fighter. And I am obsessed with Nikali. All of my desktop backgrounds are Nikali. I think I've seen three different ones while I've been streaming. Actually, probably six, because they change every half hour or so. Um, Man, that game is good. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a, a Street Fighter stream. Plays Werewolf Nikali. But yeah, he's a mud man. Uh, so what was I, why was I talking about mud again? Because it sounds like mud. Sometimes you just need mud. Oops. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my god, I didn't even realize you could do that. <laughs> Holy cow! How did I, okay, that sounds bad. How did I never, <laughs> left, right, oh my gosh. I'm not really sure when you would want to send the entire channel left or right, but I guess it's good to know that you can. Man, live mode is... This isn't even live mode. Live panning. Yeah, that's cool, but... I don't know. Hmm. It's cool for live use. Yeah, I can admit. It's probably, probably a good use for it. But here's... Here's my mud. Well, this is my 68 tempo. I like that. God, that sounds bad. Okay. Uh... Oh. Oh yeah. I really like the drum... Uh, drums I put into this. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh... Whoops. <laughs> uh, let's change this. No, wait, I wanted to do... channel work is so good and some of the songs you've been playing lately but got great feels happening every four eight bars really has some mental songs thank you thank you very much that means a lot and coming from you uh stuff like that always means a lot coming from you um yeah like i, I let's see well here i <laughs> of course this is my you know where i don't have anything going on but I'm just trying to do more with the noise channel because when I first started, like some like 
my first songs I'd have just, you know, snare on two and four and a hi-hat that was too loud, wherever else. But I'm trying to treat it more as, like, a part of the song that has to fit. Um, like that weird thing I did in that other one where I had the call and response. I really like that. It's so cool. I think at first I didn't know what to do with the noise channel, and then I started learning little bits and... So... Also, though, remember, I have a background in drums and, like, jazz drums and metal drums and whatever. So, like, I try to... I know some people try to keep their uh, drums to a point where an actual person could play them. So they won't play, like, three at a time, well, unless you're using your feet or whatever. But, like, I don't know. I'm not sure you can... You can't even really play that many things at a time in here anyways in because of lsdj's limitations but even so if you think of bands like slipknot they've got nine people they've got several percussionists i mean the, your whole song isn't going to be played by one person you just say well however many parts you have so many people you have so although i do like the idea that you know i guess you know what i mean some people do that where it's like an actual drum part and I keep thinking it would be kind of cool to do, like, an acoustic recording of some of these songs at some point. I probably won't, but, you know, that'd be kind of neat. Because I do have a drum kit, and I have guitar. I have so many guitars. I have a flute, which could do some of these weird high things. And, of course, keys. Chip music and live drums is extremely cool. Oh, yeah, it is. And when you add guitars, it's neat, too. Because... Um, you know, it, it is neat when you have chiptune thrown in there like another instrument. But the thing is, because ch chiptune is just so unique, because, like, you can make a whole part, like, you make a whole song like this, and it, you can simulate every instrument or build every instrument, or you can have it as its own thing. Like, you could totally have, like, a live show or whatever where you just have, like, the pulse channel is, like, a melody. Or you could have, like, Arduino Boy. That's how you get MIDI, I think. And you could just be, like, shredding it up on the keys or something. That would be cool, actually. I don't know what's involved in making an Arduino Boy, but now that I've done some modding and now that I kind of get things a little bit, maybe I would, maybe I would do that. Because then I could just play keyboard and then I don't really know how that works. You get MIDI with just a te teensy boy? I don't know. I never heard of a Teensy Boy before, but you got me intrigued. Teensy Boy from Cats Electronics. What? Like, so instead of going into your phrases or whatever and programming your notes, could I, like, I, if I just plugged it in, I could get, I could, like, play this instrument? Like, I don't really understand how that works. But if you can, like, plug in a keyboard and basically have it play and have it go through the Game Boy and just be these notes. You know, like in GarageBand where you have the on-screen keyboard? That sort of thing. Is that kind of how it works? I'm going to look this up, too. Ah, where's this? <laughs> They're sold out. They have Arduino boys, too. I don't really know what Arduino is. Uh... Oops, sorry. Oh, there's Cat Skull. Teensy Boy Pro. What is this? I don't I don't get it. This is a thing that you put in your Game Boy, I guess, right? Wait, that's a cartridge? What? I'm confused. I'm looking at Teensy Boy Pro. I'm gonna have to look into this, because I don't really... <laughs> it's just like MIDI out. That's sort of how it works. So you can plug it into a something. I'll have to look into it, because that's really cool. Because I, I think the instrument I'm most comfortable with is probably, I don't know. I don't actually know. Piano. Oh, dang, that one's a lot cheaper. I was looking at the $60 one. Arduino Boy, Teensy Boy. The Arduino Boy takes MIDI and converts it to LSDJ keyboard mode signals. Uh, keyboard mode? Oh, yeah, I forgot. LSDJ actually has, like, keyboard mode as part of it, right? I mean, I guess it has to, or it wouldn't understand. Well, dang, 16 bucks. I can afford that. 
Unless shipping is like a million dollars. I will look into this. Um, cause yeah, I don't really know much about this stuff. But I think it would be really cool. Is that basically what it does? You just, you just plug in a keyboard, like a MIDI keyboard. You can actually warp a computer keyboard, PS2 adapter to a Game Boy Link port, and plug the computer keyboard. Right, I've seen that. Can you plug in like a MIDI, uh, like a piano keyboard? Can you make that work? Cause I have like, you know, the the piano keys, the little, I don't know what it's called. A MIDI controller, that's what it's called. That's what that's called. You know, it's just a tiny piano keyboard, that you, like a USB or whatever. Then you need the Arduino boy. All right, you and me, are, we're going to have a talk about this at some point. Because um, <laughs> that sounds really cool. And is that... Then, okay, wait. So, okay, wait, well, I have more questions. So you know how before I was talking about, like, plugging in a Game Boy to a mixer and plugging in a synth to a mixer? Can you have, like... I guess it would be live mode, but for instance, so like this, uh, this part, if I wanted to just like freestyle this or whatever, could I just have like these playing? Oh wait. Could I just have like this playing and then have the Game Boy plugged into a MIDI keyboard and just play this part or whatever on the keyboard? If I wanted to like do a solo or like improvise it or something, is that can you do that? That's crazy. Crazy. There's so much stuff you can do. Oh my god, I love Game Boys. And LSDJ. Oh my god. Hey, this is random. You don't know when Johan's birthday is, do you? <sighs> just curious. For no reason, just curious. <laughs> Basically, you need to make an empty phrase and then use the keyboard to play in the channel with the empty phrase. Does it record your notes in the empty phrase? <clears throat> so, like, you can play it back later? Is it, like, just programming... Is it just programming the notes as you go without having to do, like, bop, 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 or whatever? It doesn't actually record. Oh, that would be cool, too, though. If there was a... If there was a record mode, that would be really neat, too. Because I can imagine... If you're just like noodling around and then you come up with something cool in the future version. <gasps> Johan! <laughs> LSDJ version 9! That would be neat. That would be super neat. You could have a record mode. Song, live, record. Keeps his personal info to himself. Oh, that's fair. Do we know LSDJ's birthday? When is my birthday? I keep my personal information to myself, thank you very much. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, like, some people put it on their Twitter or something. I keep thinking I want to give, like, a big fat uh, LSDJ contribution at some point. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, if, it, if, if I did on birthday, that'd be cool. LSDJ's birthday is July 6th. Okay. That works. Also, I you just knew that, right? You didn't have to look that up. You just knew LSDJ's birthday. It's just in there, in your memory banks. <laughs> oh, you did look it up. Okay. You're just really fast at looking things up. Dang. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. That was a really fast response. I thought you just knew that. <laughs> Because I wouldn't put it past you to just know. Oh, yeah. LZJ? July 6th. July 6th, 2000, right? I guess. I think. Anyway. We're making... So the only problem... I don't know why I keep going in live mode. I'm like, this is what I need to do. The only problem with this is you can't, you have no way of controlling the pitch or the note or like the volume or anything, right? Just go and that's it. If you guess my birthday, if you guess my birthday in a DM, I'll tell you, how's that? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just... You're not gonna just go through the whole year, are you? 
January 1, January 2, January 3, January 4. Oh my god. <laughs> what if my birthday's on New Year's Eve? You're gonna be going for a while. <laughs> if you just kept going for the rest of the stream. Then I'll wait until you're through all of the days of the year and I'll say, yep, you got it. <laughs> oh, wait, I know what we can do. Wait a second, it has to be here. It is! Why does it sound... This will go here. <laughs> Where's the one where I can just make a meow? Somebody's saying right, right now, or something. <laughs> or, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Maybe not. Thanks for the follow and welcome. <laughs> Hope you like chiptune. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. 
And then we'll put a... Whoops. Hmm. Is this already clipping? Or not clipping? Oh, you're Appa's girlfriend. <laughs> well, thanks for following. Uh, let's see here. Whole LSDJ family. I like it. Let's see. Actually, let's just... Da, da, da. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I can do like... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if these notes work, but I don't care because it's a Halloween album. Something like that. <laughs> I love doing weird wave sounds. It's so cool. Also, hello, face. Welcome to today's stream. You musician to pre appreciate our LSDJ from afar. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. My partner's not into LSDJ either, but he plays guitar. So that's cool. I guess it's good to be musical. I'm just gonna make this about a mud man, maybe. <laughs> Any Street Fighter V fans? Sounds great, by the way. Thank you. I think so, too. Meow, 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 meow. Is it creepy enough? I think it's kind of creepy. 
I'm a little on edge. Like, what is, what's up with this cat? This isn't a normal sounding cat. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I'm kind of thinking, what if I just sent it all to heck? <laughs> Let's see how. Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. I can't do that here, but you know. God, that sounds bad. Okay. I don't think I can. Okay, so that sound that's bad. That's good and wait, can we do more? Mm, this probably won't work. Ooh. Okay, that does work for some reason. Okay, wait, where do we want that though? Probably here instead. Yeah, I like that. This is going to be not good sounding. I mean, it'll be good in a bad way, you know what I mean? Or bad in a good way. Yeah, so let's do... Oh, heck, let's just steal that right from there. One C. Go to this. This wait, get this out of here. That's not, nope. What note is that? Yeah, da da. Hmm, except it's really slow. Actually, that's not what I had in mind, but it sort of works. Wow, wow, wow. Where's my meow, meow, meow? Oh, that's not really. I'll take it. Except this is a G4, I think. Wait, no, I had one of those. I had something like that. Where was it? I thought I did. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I was just using D commands. Yeah. And we'll throw this one in the floor. Throw it in the ground. Beep, beep, meow. Yeah, nice. Oops. 
Oh, this needs to be... See you share meow all night. So you don't mind it. A3 meow all meow all night. <laughs> meow all night. <laughs> you got lyrics for this. I really like that. That worked out well. I don't even remember what the heck notes I was using for this, but I'm... <laughs> I'm using different notes now. Yo, Jelly, how's it going? Jelly Bear, been lurking a bit. And then you come up, step out into the light. So you heard the meows. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> We're working on Halloween stuff today. See the Fall Guys double XP from Monday? Yes. What I don't understand is why it's on Monday, though. This is, like... Because isn't that when the season is over, though? Isn't the season done, like, tomorrow? So what are you getting XP for? Because I don't, I don't really understand. But yeah, they're starting on Monday, and then the new season starts Thursday. So if you're between seasons... This... Oh, it's over when the new one starts. But when you're, when you're looking at the level up thing, it shows like two days remaining or something like that. Like I thought it was ending. I was going to play tomorrow and I thought it was my last chance to level up. Said they're extending it to Thursday. Oh, okay. So I missed that part because I heard it's ending like Monday. New season starting Thursday. And I'm like, okay. And then I heard that they're doing extra fame or whatever on Monday. And I'm thinking like, what? But there's no season. What are what's your fame going towards? So I'm gonna try, I'm like level thirty eight, and I finally I got my first win yesterday. I got my first win yesterday, finally. So that was pretty cool, pretty awesome. Do I have a hi hat? Do I have a closed hi hat? That sounds kind of neat. The hi hat closed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I could link the cl the clip if you want, but there is a headphone warning. <laughs> We're gonna put a one of these.
Does this sound like it needs to be at the end, maybe? Let's try this. Yeah. This is like the breakdown, where it, but it's gonna sound bad on purpose. This could be an interesting place to loop it. Let me have some hot chocolate. I was really thirsty and I was drinking water all day because I had some salty chicken for lunch. Then defense mechanism recommended chocolate. And I'm like, oh, okay, but I'm still thirsty, so I'm having hot chocolate. Mm. Mm. But it's cold chocolate now. <laughs> I made it, like, a couple hours ago. So. Oh, anyways. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I was gonna... Mess with these. Carrying out of three. Bop. ba da 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 Bop, bop, bop. That works. All chocolate is good chocolate. Heck yeah, my friend. Heck yeah. <coughs> what are these notes? Wait, I did this already. Uh, we have a 13 on there for some reason. Uh, shoot. 13? What the heck? 13? This should be on A sharp or something. Is that what it said? Da da da. Okay, I'm gonna check. I think it was uh, A four. Three. Oh, great. So I can put four on this one. And it'll be like, yeah, okay. And then this, this is gonna be cool, you guys. You haven't heard this part yet. You're just showing up. Well, if you were lurking, Jelly Bear, you might have heard this, but. Uh, wait, this should go here.
That part is cohesive, at least. Uh. Hmm. Ah! No, I'm too slow. I'm too slow for this. It's very slow. There we go. Oh, why did I do that? Uh. <gasps> I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> uh, huh. No, I can't leave it like this. Heck. Whatever, it's it's okay. Here, this is what it sounded like before I was messing with it. I remember what I was gonna do. I remember what I was gonna do.
I'm gonna make a second snare. I don't like that snare for this. It needs to be poppier. It needs to be a pop. It needs to be a poppin' snare. You know the kind. It kind of goes pop. <laughs> Uh, I forget how to make it. Let's try this. I don't know what this will sound like. We'll find out. Okay, so not that. <laughs> We're just going to stick with my old-fashioned stare that I usually do. See? Actually, wait. Which... How does 21 different from 20 again? I forgot. Oh. Gotcha. So... We're gonna mess this up. We're gonna mess this up, you guys.
I'm gonna call this lead two. I don't know. Oh, we can do um. Okay, wait. So we can do like e. See, we can do this. So we want to add up to three. Um, so we're gonna make it like a random loudness. Uh, so I need LSDJers here. So we're gonna set the instrument with an envelope or ADSR of 83. And then we're gonna put a randomizer on it. So it'll have, it'll actually be 53. Um, and then this will randomize it to either 53, 63, or 73. So that's why they're kind of... And then this one's just ignoring the table, so it'll just play at the 83. So I can keep my accent notes. I'm not sure if I want it here, but... Actually, I remember what I was gonna do. <sighs> I was gonna mess it up more. Lead three. I want this one to sound kind of crazy, so we'll have... Have it go through all of these. Kind of 
of interesting. I mean, every time you play it, it'll be different. Kind of. So you can't just set it to be totally random, but what you can do, so you set... So I set this one at 83, so that's going to be, like, what it is without the table. Um, but since I'm playing a table, it's going to do this. Um, basically, in the table, I'm setting it to 53 instead. So if I just had this in the table, it's just going to be 53 instead of 83. So you can think of, like, um, like the first one's like the loudness, right? So it's going to be five loudness instead of eight. And then three is just like how long it is. The Z is what makes it random. So you're adding, um, between zero and this digit. So basically this is five, three. So the two means it'll add up to two. So it'll either add zero and it'll be five, three, or it'll add one. And it'll be six, three, or it'll add two and it'll be seven, three. If I put one here, then it could be up to, it could be like five, three, five, four, six, three, six, four, seven, three, seven, four, if that makes sense. So then it could be longer. So it's just making, it'll be at least this loud up to like this loud, if that helps. <laughs> so, but every time, every time it plays it, it'll be randomizing this, this value. So it'll be somewhere between 5-3 and 7-3. Except for the ones with the A2. But if I take this out... Well, some of them are louder. But here... The A20... A20 you just put because there is no table 20, so it just basically is like no table. So that means it'll just be the 83. So that's how I'm gonna keep my accent notes loud, so I want to be a... Right? Yeah, so that's I'm gonna keep it that way, but then I think I'm gonna mess up my notes a bit. I can't hear this at all. Wait, do these have the table? Oh, that's why. These have the... No, wait. Hmm. You just can't hear them over all the other crap. <laughs> Let's put them higher. That should help. Kind of creepy. Oops. Ah! Stop! 
Stop! Stop! I'm sorry, that was too loud. Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh. Here we'll put something to make it quieter again. Have to remember to kill these or it's gonna be awful. This one, we're just gonna kill it. Slowly, slowly and painfully.
Not what I wanted, sorry. There. My bad. Alright, that's pretty neat, I think. Uh, let's save that for now. Let's listen to some Finnish songs, okay? <clears throat> We're probably about to wrap up here. So let's go over what we did tonight. Okay, so we did- we worked on Can't Hide. This one's about robots. This one's gonna need a little more work. This is what we have for now. It's kind of about robots taking over. It just needs an ending. Just needs an ending. Uh. Um. Yeah, F sounds like the... feels like the landing point. And then and we'll end it right here.
I like that. I need to increase my musical vocabulary so I can say something smarter than that. I like all the changes. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and thank you. I, I like it too. I'm not, I'm not very good at describing stuff. I never went to like music school or anything. So I don't know what things are called. And most of the time, if I'm trying to describe a sound, I can only do that by trying to make the sound. <laughs> so... And I've got friends who are really good at describing stuff, and I'm like, I don't know, it kind of goes like this, and then it sounds like that, and it's like this, you know? And they're like, uh... <laughs> so I know what you mean. <clears throat> but one big thing I wanted to do, like, here... This note was really... It was, like, on its own. And then I brought it back here... With echoes. Do you use LSDJ as well? I try to remember everybody who uses LSDJ, but I can't always remember. But I've got my main instrument, so it's changing between these, which is nice, because it gives it kind of a plinky sound. Instead of just like, pop, it's like, blap. And then the echo one is the same, except it doesn't have that. Instead, it, it'll switch, so it's, it's on a step table instead. So it'll alternate between 9 and A. So on 9, I've got left and then middle. With, with this. And then on A is right and then middle. So they kind of bounce around a little bit. And actually, come to think... Oh yeah, no, that's right. Okay. And then I did the same thing here. Like, I had, uh, I had this. And then I just added... It kind of feels like, I don't know if you guys are listening on headphones, but I've got headphones and it feels like it's kind of rattling around in my brain, so... Or in my skull. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea for those little shifty sounds. <gasps> this will be real easy. Actually, wait, I think I have one already for this. Maybe table five and six. Oh yeah, so four. Oh, that's so much better. It, it like bounces like around the psh, psh. I don't know if you can hear the difference. Oh, that's so much better. That's really cool. Okay, I like that. Now for the ending. Mm, so let's put F here. Change it up a bit. And that's it. And then here... Oh, that's perfect. We'll just do that. We'll just have 59 the way it is. I'll change it just in case. I'm always paranoid I'm gonna change something. Oh yeah, like that's gonna have to end pretty much. Wait, does this actually kill it? No, it doesn't. Oh, actually, I can probably just kill the table. Yeah, that's better. Hey, Nicoletta, how's it going? Oh, that's such a better, that's so much better. It has a weird clicking, you know? I don't know why it does that. I'm not sure, well, actually, I, well, tables are weird. Cause like this one, it's going between, like the, this is like your headphones, so it's like both and then right and then both and then left. So you can hear it bouncing around and stuff. But it keeps going. It's like it keeps clicking. It's like it keeps... It's like, uh... Switching. 
between them, so that's... See, it keeps clicking. I'm not sure if Defense Mech is still paying attention, but I think I think that's because, like, with the actual Game Boy, it's, like, switching, like, something physically in there. Like, is this an emulation? Yeah, sort of. So this is the same program that I use on my Game Boy. I have the ROM on a cartridge that I take around with me with my in my Game Boy Pocket. So a lot of the time when I'm working on music, I'm either on break at work or I'm on the bus or something like that. Um, but this is basically, this is a Game Boy emulator. So you could play, like, Pokemon on this if you have the ROM for it, or, like, Mario or whatever you want. But it's just because I'm using LSDJ. But it's the same thing, it's just letting me play LSDJ on here instead of Game Boy. Because, uh, believe it or not, it's pretty tricky to stream from a Game Boy. <laughs> so, I'll, um, I'll play the whole thing in a sec. I'm just sorting out the ending here. Oh, wait, how does this end? Okay, so we're gonna mess with this one. Or wait, no we're not. We're gonna just, uh, what instrument was it? That one. And we're gonna make it start quiet. Oops. And get real loud after a bit. We're just gonna kill it right here. Okay, I want to fix that little right. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, cause it's right there. So one E is a crescendo. Yeah, so um, the way LSDJ works is you've got your envelope for your instrument. I'll try to explain this. I'm not great at it. So there's like ADSR here, right? But in, you can also just do like envelopes. So if you don't do the whole ADSR, you just have like the first digit is like your attack and then the second one is the decay. So the E or the sorry, the one is like how loud it starts. So really quiet, and then the E is it getting louder? So like if I just have it stay on one, it just is like that, and then this is like the length of the note, sort of. So it ends quickly. Actually, that's a very bad example, isn't it? It's not really working. I don't know. It's weird because this is a noise instrument, but basically. Uh, zero through seven means, or not zero, sorry, zero means it'll just go on forever. One through seven means it will decay, and then nine through F, because it's all like hex, means it'll get louder. But if I have it on nine, it gets loud really fast. If I have it on F, it's really slow. So that might actually be the best, is to have it on one F. No, wait, E is good, or D. Yeah, one E is good. So that's all that is. So separate commands? Yeah, kind of. Like, they shape the same note, but yeah. Because it, it, it makes a little more sense, like, with a normal, like, pulse instrument. Because here I've got 82. So it starts fairly loud and it ends pretty quick. But if I changed it to, like, 22, it's really quiet. Or, like, you know. If I had on 87... So this is like how long it is, and this is like how loud it is. You know? So yeah. Um. And then that's the command I'll just stop the song, so. The actual video for this square wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can... And I actually have it changing shape. So I've got it changing between, like, 25%, 12.5, and then 50%. You can also have it go up to 75, but it sounds the same as 25, pretty much. 
Yeah. <laughs> so let's clean this up. Uh, this song is about robots taking over the world, by the way. This is all for the Halloween album. So I was just playing through them and then I ended up like, hey, this one's almost done. Let's just finish it. So let's listen to it and we'll see if it's done. Also, LSDJ has like this cleaning function, which is so, so, so good. So clean instrument data means if you make a bunch of instruments, you don't end up using them, it'll delete them. And free up space and clean song data. Like if I put something in there and then I, I don't know. If I put in like another phrase or something that I end up not using, it cleans it up. So that's real good. Love when the batteries die, my game wasn't working. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Good thing there's working memory. Are you ready to hear the, the robot song? called can't hide because you can't hide from them they'll find you i wanted more like laser sounds that's the only thing i was gonna have a bunch of pew 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 but that's okay put on head headphones for this run through nice okay yeah put on your headphones guys because this has stuff bouncing around here here we go the ending that was really cool boop, 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 boop. Wow. <laughs> that was neat eh the part with the silver sounding stuff thanks that's, that's a good way to say it actually really love the more industrial style compared to a lot of your other melodic stuff thank you thank you thank you i'm glad you like it yeah i'm trying to when i do my creepy halloween stuff i was trying to do like weird sounds you know even like last year's halloween album was really melodic but it also had a lot of the weird industrial sounds so i was like what can this game boy do let's find out so this one had a lot of cool stuff, like the, the wave. Actually, that's the wave and... Oh, here. Uh, let's silence these two. But these two parts working together? And this is awesome. The... Uh, okay. Yeah, this is where you get um, all your cool little arcadey game sounds. 
Sounds like little Mario sounds and stuff. And then, of course, the wave channel has all these weird things. Love playing with the wave channel. So good. Anyway, yeah, that one's that one's done. I'm gonna mark it as done. I think it's done. So, boom. Nice. So we have two songs done tonight out of five or six that we're gonna probably have on here. So let, let's hear some other stuff. Uh, this one we weren't quite done. We'll leave that one alone for now. Um, ooh, Trapped. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll get back to that one. What else? Did, what was the other one we finished? Oh, that, that was it. That is the one we finished. Well, there's also Trumbull. This one's about giants. Is there a limit track length? Not really, no. <laughs> um, just as, like, however big the file size is. But I think it can go up to the 1F, I'm assuming. Defense mech or anyone? I think it goes up to 1F, right? After that, it's too big and it probably can't save. I never get anywhere near that, though, because, like, it's hex, right? So I'm at, like, this one's at 8 for the size. So then it will go 9 and then A, B, C, D, all the way up to F. I think it can go up to 1F, so that's pretty big. One of the lovely things about LSDJ is the whole this whole save file with all of these songs, and I've had like 20 songs on here, it's 128 kilobytes, so backing these up on the computer is, is like awesome. You can have so many of them. So I usually try to get songs to like somewhere between 2 and 4 minutes, generally speaking. Although I did have like... On my, to keep evolving on my latest one. That one's a little bit different because I wanted it to feel even more like a video game uh, soundtrack. So I had the the songs that are like, okay, you're fighting something or you're traveling through the desert or whatever. And then I had this one, like I had a few short ones that are supposed to be like menus or like, you know, in between stuff, like little loops and stuff. So like, here's one that's just kind of like, you know, things are good. Just... And that's the whole song, it just loops. But I, I can almost picture that, like, when you're talking to a character or something, or, you know, like, before you go on to the next scene, or, like, after a fight or something. And I had another one. This one's super short. Oh, and this one has the little coin sound in it. Good times kicking it song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and this one, it's only 47 seconds. We're halfway through the song already. It just fades out. This one, I think, is almost like you get a new character in your party and you're kind of showing them stuff. And they're like, oh, okay, neat. Yeah, let's go. So I, I wanted to add some of those little fun things. Plus, I think a lot of people have these songs that you just get an idea and that's it. And sometimes you, you sketch out the idea in whatever DAW you're using or you plink it out on piano or guitar or whatever. And then you never really come back to it. Or you do, but you're like, I can't, I can't think of anything to add to it. Like, it sounds complete. So when I have a song like that, I'll either keep it for this type of thing where I'm like, you know what, it is complete. Just loop it a couple times and there, it's like an in-between thing. And that's where having like, you know, fake game soundtracks, it's like there's going to be little songs that you hear just in the middle, right? Hey doggy, welcome. <laughs> We're doing Halloween stuff tonight. Woo! <laughs> Halloween music. Um, the other thing you can do when you have a song like that is just start another one when you have another sketch. Just put it in the same file. And see how they sound together, because sometimes they're really good, right? Um, and the lightning bolts are just me marking stuff. So, like, sometimes I'll do... Let's see. Oh, this might be one. Uh... Oh yeah, so here's one for instance. I, I wanted to put that these were basically the same, so I've got O f like, I've got, whoops, O five O five. Um... 
So five is just this sound and then nothing. And then... And then I duplicated it. And then I just changed it a bit. So I've got like this in here. And then... Right? So I just changed like two bars. But it's just to remind me that they're kind of the same part. You know what I mean? So if you're doing A, B, A, B, A, B, for example, be like, well, this is, uh, or say this is A, this is also A, but I enhanced it a bit. Or, you know, you have a basic beat and then you have the same basic beat, but you add like a hi-hats on 16th notes or something just to add a little oomph to it. So it's like, it's technically the same part, but it's like, you know, a fancier version of it. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, this was my, my, uh, giant song. So another thing that I think you guys know about me by now is I, I like heavy metal. I like power metal a lot. I love songs about, like, dragons and knights and all this, like, you know, goes very well, so, you know. I like a track marker, sort of. Yeah, exactly. It just highlights that so I can mark it for whatever reason. The dev has been updating pretty regularly since 2000. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's so many updates. Even more than the latest version. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm going to stay on this one for a little bit and see. It's so funny because wasn't, wasn't Johan going to be done? <laughs> wasn't he going to be done at like version 8? And then he kept adding all kinds of stuff. Don't forget hobbits. Yeah, exactly hobbits. And wizards and dragons and knights and all kinds of stuff. You found a bug today? Oh, what was the bug? I feel like I've got to talk to Johan sometime. Because you always bring him all the bugs and stuff I find. I'm like, I've never actually talked to him. I probably should, you know? He'll be like, you! Just when I think I'm done and you, you bring me something. Oh, that's probably you. Actually. <laughs> Anyway, this is, this is the, so, so when I do my Halloween albums, I mean, I did this last year, I'm doing it this year. I was talking earlier, there's an album by Iced Earth called Horror Show, and it, it, they, they did it really cool. They have, like, different songs about different, um, horror creatures and characters. Um, I can't remember them all offhand, but they've got one about Dracula, one is about, um, like, Jack the Ripper. Play a phrase in song mode, then move to the song screen and switch to live mode and queue up the chains they don't play. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, have a good lurk, though. And thanks for popping in. <laughs> you just pop up right when I need you, so. Dracula love that song and Damien. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. So, Ghost in the Game Boy, it was actually really inspired by that album. So, like, if you look at the track listing, we've got Brains. That's the zombie one. We've got Haunted Game Boy, which obviously was about... It's about a ghost, but it's also just about technology. Because tech is weird, you know? Tech is weird. All the Phantom Opera ghosts, that's a good one, too. Um, anyway, Bloodthirst is about vampires. Skulls is about, like, skulls and skeletons. I picture, like, skeletons and, like, their head kind of falls off and then they're just, like, chasing it. It, like, rolls around the floor. <laughs> Uh, ghost is about a ghost, and then Werewolf Stripe is obviously about werewolf. So I was trying to do that this year, but I wanted to do less obvious. I'm like, oh yeah, ghosts and zombies and vampires, you know. So I've got one about giants, I've got one about, um, robots, I've got one about demons. Inner demons. The scariest kind. Uh, I think that's all I've got right now. Oh, I've got like a Mudman song. <laughs> Tech is so weird. Yeah, it's like, um, or have you ever been on a phone call with someone and it always happens late at night? I don't know. Like when I was in high school, I used to call my friends and I would chat. I had a couple friends I'd talk to for like two hours. I don't know. We talked about nothing, right? It's like instead of watching TV, you just call up your friend. But it was like around midnight or like the later it got, the creepier the phone call got. I don't know. You know when you're on a phone call and then 
your friend's voice just starts to sound all garbled or like demonic. You know, like in shows and movies where they have that demonic kind of layer that they add on top of someone's voice. You hear like their voice, but also like they're like, you know, at the same time. And then when you're on the phone with someone and it's midnight and it starts sounding like that and you're like 16, you're like, ah, you know, so that always freaked me out. Phones are so scary. Honestly, phones creep me out. Or it's just like, even just static. It's like, what is static? I mean, you know what static is, right? But it's like, what is it? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, that's creepy. So that's that's pretty scary. So that's sort of what the ghost in the Game Boy is about. But I made it cute because I feel like the ghost in my Game Boy just helped me make make the songs. <laughs> um. Anyways, if you want to hear the giant song, this one's actually done. So yeah, this is this one's called Tremble. Anyway, that's... <clears throat> I'm not sure how to end that one. If it'll just kind of loop or... I don't know. But that one's pretty well done. Almost done. So... <laughs> Love these sending notes on that crunchy brown base. Let's see if we can go back and... Is that this guy? I think it's this guy. So 
this is the panning, right? So throw it to one side and the other. Can fade out, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Or I could just do like, let's see. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can go back there. Usually I'll find a place I want to repeat. That could work. Oh wait, or maybe this one. Let's try again. Experiment. Because I can find somewhere to loop it, and I'll just throw that down there and then use that as the fade. Nah, I'll, I'll find somewhere. I'll find somewhere to fade out. I'll make a little note here. I'll say fade out. Or repeat and fade out. Because the thing is, like, this part is like an intro. This is actually cool. And then we've got this little thing here. Like, that's like the intro, so I wouldn't loop it here. I might start it back here or something. Oh, and actually, if I do that... Oh, it'll... Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, this is the giant. This is the giant one. In this one, I actually... I liked the uh, drums so much, I only did one... I just did the same bar. I really like that, so... You think this might be my best song ever? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I think it all depends on style and stuff, too. I mean, I really like this one, and I like to just sit back with headphones and just... It's... I like it. I think you'll like uh, Trapped as well, actually. That one, I think I did a good job with building up and panning and stuff. This, this album, I'm really focusing on making my sound bigger. So, like, if you hear, we're just like, just for an example, um, uh, where's one that I didn't have? What's something kind of, uh, how about even, uh, an older song, maybe? Well, here, this is from my first album. This was my, like, super awesome song that I made at the time. Norfrost. Sounds like Ninja Gaiden. See, like, I still love that song, but now I'm like, man, I could make that sound amazing. I could make that sound so good now. Because the thing is, it sounds very flat to me. And it doesn't sound very big. It, it sounds good. But it, it almost sounds like if I... If you go to a concert, right? If you have the seats, like, way at the back or something. You know? And so you can... You can't really see what they're doing, but you can hear it. And you're like, oh yeah, that's cool, right? Compared to, like, my newer stuff, though, where I've got, like, the panning and, like, just- this just sounds so much bigger, you know? Or... Just stuff everywhere. Actually, the example I gave the other day was, like, if you go to a, a theater or something, I guess. You know how you can- you can see, like, the film and you can hear it. Yeah, it's totally mono, that- that first album. Ghost in the Game Boy has some panning and that might be the only one, actually. I think I might have done a tiny bit with, like, 
kick drum on one side and snare on the other, and that's about it, though. I didn't really get super into it, but I learned how to be more efficient now, so I know how to, like, throw my sounds around with the panning, but also do my pitch bands and my arpeggios and whatever else I want to do. Stereo matters, can't figure it out myself totally. Yeah, it's hard to do. It's, it's tricky. And especially in LSDJ, it's either all left, all right, both or off like then you can't do like a 50 percent or anything it's like it's all left or it's all right so if i'm listening to this and i have only one side of the headphones on i'm missing some of the notes like they're just not even there so you know um but i just it has helps so much it helps so much so that's what i'm focusing on for this album um what else did i miss in chat uh, do you ever play something on piano or other software and then come back to LSD when you have the melody worked out? Not usually. Usually, I just build stuff in LSDJ. Sometimes I'll have something... What happens most often is I'll be in the shower. <laughs> or it'll be 2 in the morning and I jerk out of bed and I'm like, oh, I have an idea. And then I'll either go, like, sing it into my little voice memo recording thing for later. Or I'll just try to write it down. I should probably post some of my notes of how I write melodies because I don't I'm not like I, I'm not really um like I don't know notes by ear you know what I mean like I can't just feel it I can't really write out music so I'll draw like a line like a horizontal line for like how long the note should be and then I'll just slide it up or down like I'll draw a slope up or down to the next note for about how much higher or lower it should be just to get a rough idea or I'll text myself, like, drum beats and stuff. I'm like, one, and a two, and a three, and whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, because the other day, I figured out how to play one of my songs on piano. Because <laughs> I, I program it into LSDJ, and I don't always pay attention to the notes. I started paying attention to keys, which is good, and modes and stuff. I'm trying to learn some of that. But I, I know very little when it comes to actual music theory and stuff. So... Um, also, I don't really have a piano right now, <laughs> or and that's my best instrument for just noodling around. I have a kalimba that I use sometimes. That's actually fun, because I, I don't know, I'm not used to the way the notes are laid out on kalimba, because it's, it's weird. You start in the middle. That's like the little African thumb piano, I think it's called, right? It's called all the tines. It's like a block of wood with all the metal tines on it. And going from the middle outward, it's like right, left, right, left, right, left, going back and forth. And then the notes get higher or whatever. You don't need to know a lot of music theory unless you're in a band, to be honest. I think it just depends, really. Like, it, it, it helps to know the rules so you know how and when to break them. But, I mean, I think that... I don't, I don't know a lot, but I think that I have pretty good taste. Like, and I, I know... I know it sounds good to me, and if I make something and it doesn't sound good, then I'll change it until it does. So, I think I think people just have an easier time of that when you know kind of some guidelines and stuff. But I remember, like, when I first started making music, I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to play two adjacent notes at the same time. Like, I'm not going to play a C in one channel and a B in the other because it usually sounds like crap. <laughs> Unless I want it to have that clashy, clashy sound. You know, then it sounds wrong, but it's like, I don't know, I'll just play whatever notes usually. Um, yeah, this was the giant song. But usually, like, when I'm making stuff in here, like, you guys can go back and see some of my other VODs and stuff. But usually I'll just go in and be like, oh, let's do, oh, this note, and then that one. And I don't usually have a melody in my head, I'll just put a note in there. Or I'll figure out what key I want to go in. And then I'll just grab a couple notes from there and, and see kind of where it takes me. Can do things if you know scales offhand. Yeah, stuff like that is handy. So, like, I started learning keys. So I'd be like, oh, this is these are the notes I'm going to use. And it kind of helps to limit yourself. And I think that's that's what I really like about LSDJ too, right? Is it's very simple. Um, it's confusing to look at if you're not used to it. But at its core, it's very simple. You've got two pulse channels usually for your melody or your bass or whatever, and then a wave channel, which can do anything, and then your noise, which is usually percussion. 
So, you know, you can just start with the basic drum beat in the noise channel and you can build a little bass on it. You can do whatever. So it's, it's very simple. You're not going to have more than four channels. You make as many instruments as you need. Like, I, I really like it. And I feel like if, um, if I were to go into, like, I have reason, right? If I was going to go into reason and just mess around, there's so many instruments, so many music packs, so much stuff. It's like almost too much, you know? Hey, Renato, how's it going? How's it going, bud? We're doing Halloween music tonight. So that's pretty cool. It's fun stuff, fun stuff. And talking about trackers, specifically this one. This is like the only thing I use for my music. Um, this and then Audacity just to put a normalize because the Game Boy music is quiet. Or if I want to do a fade. You can do fade outs in LSDJ, but it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so I'll do, I'll do those sometimes in Audacity, and that's about it. But I am looking forward to trying new sounds in LSDJ and on top of it. So one thing I want to do is record some samples to put in LSDJ. The only downside with that is if I offer up the save file for the album, um, people are going to need those samples or else it won't work. Um, and then the other thing I really want to do is I actually want to add vocals, um, not like nice singing, <laughs> but just weird little words and phrases and chants and sound effects and stuff. I thought, I thought it would actually be really funny to take some clips from my Twitch channel, like from when I'm playing games and stuff and like throw that on top. I thought that would be kind of funny. Chipsel does that. Oh man, I haven't been listening to her stuff very, very much. I should be. I wish I had more time to listen to music. It's it's so weird. When I when I was more into drawing, I could draw and then have like YouTube or Twitch or somebody else drawing and watch them. You look up every once in a while, see their progress. Oh, that's cool. And then you draw stuff. When you're making music, if you're also listening to music, it, it's you can't hear what you're, you know, unless you pause, like if you take a break or something, but it's not as fluid. But yeah, I, there's actually, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Infected Mushroom. Um, but they have a, a plugin called Manipulator, and I think it works with Reason. I'll have to, like, download the demo and try it out. Uh, but that's how they get all their weird, like, voice stuff. So, you know, they have some really awesome sounds. And I've got kind of a goofy voice, so I can make some goofy sounds, and it'll it'll go perfectly with my... My chiptunes are kind of goofy, so I think it'll be great. It'll be a while, though. You use some of their plugins. Do you have Manipulator? Do you have that one or no? I know they have some other ones. I don't really know much about them. Manipulator was one that I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Like when I I have um, <clears throat> the Vicious Delicious album, which is so good. And I'll like sing along, even though there's parts that they're not really words. They just kind of like, I don't know. So. And it, it's funny because, you know, when you listen to like singers, you're like, man that person can sing right but then sometimes you listen to bands or other artists or electronic artists or whatever and it's you don't it's not so much about the quality of their singing you're not like okay this person has opera training or whatever it's more about the lyrics and the feeling behind it and you're like this person doesn't have the greatest voice but it doesn't matter you know what i mean i'll be that i'll be that vocalist <laughs> i'll just throw weird sound clips in i, I think that would be a lot of fun and i can either like uh, record them and then throw them into LSDJ and have it all like bit crushed and like kind of lo-fi sounding or I could just throw it on top of the Game Boy so that might be kind of interesting you use wider for messing with face up that's cool that's cool I can't sing to save my life I thought you did sing don't you sing didn't you sing on on your album or am I am I wrong about that I thought she did. Or do you just mean you're not one of those opera singers, but you sing anyway? Just because you're not good at singing doesn't mean you shouldn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> sing vocal fragments of remixes, hence me singing Meow Nonsense lyrics to your song tonight. <laughs> I, I do that kind of thing all the time. Usually other people don't get to hear it, but I think it would be kind of fun to let other people hear it. Yeah, you sing on the album. 
I thought that was you. I thought so. I didn't think you got someone else to do the singing because it was such a personal album. It sounded really good, by the way. So, that's it's awesome, awesome album. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I'm an opera singer. La. <laughs> The angry smiley face makes me question if I should believe you. <laughs> Although opera singers do sing in all caps, right? <laughs> um, oh, I didn't even play these, you guys. I didn't even play these for you. I'll get to Trapped after, but that one's probably the best one on here. And that one's like about done. Uh, that one is done, actually. Do better next time. Always have to get better. Absolutely. But you shouldn't um, let yourself be held back by the fact that you're not like a pro or whatever. You're not where you want to be, right? You got to find that balance. Basically, you want to make stuff that you're happy with. And if you're still happy with it later, then great. Because <laughs> I've had things that I've made... Mostly with my visual art. Stuff that I draw and I'm proud of it. And then later I'm like, mm, it's not so good. You know, like I don't want to show this to anyone. But like right now it's like my old music. Maybe it's because I've only been doing it just over a year. Right? So it's only a year old. Maybe in 10 years I'll be like, ugh. <laughs> I don't know. But like hearing my stuff from a year ago, I'm like, it's good. I like it. I like the melodies. It's catchy. I like the instruments. Like, yeah, I've learned some techniques and, and more things I could do now to ma to get more out of all the instruments, I guess, to get more out of it. But it's, it's all there, I guess, right? Anyway, <laughs> novella about a bear who just needs some jelly. What about peanut butter? Do you have peanut butter for your jelly? Peanut butter and jelly bear? Or just jelly bear? <laughs> this one, I forgot how this one goes. We'll see how this is. Oh, uh, this one's called Chills. Which one is this? Oh, yeah. I call this instrument long. I was gonna do here i was gonna add something on top another like melody or something here anyway there's that one that one's kind of spooky right um so that was all right and then um okay this this one can see a piano roll wait what piano roll i don't think so uh i'm not sure what you're talking about <laughs> Like the piano keys? I don't think so. Um. Oh yeah, this one. So this one I was gonna... I wanted to call one Mockery. Although I couldn't stop thinking about like calling Mockery. So I was like, ugh, I don't really want to call it Mockery. But I thought it was gonna be about... Um, what is on the right? Uh, wait. Oh, this? This is the waveforms, if this is what you're talking about. This is what you see in the little oscilloscope on here. On the bottom. On the- or on the right. That's this. Right 
Right, side shows no instantaneously. It does. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's... You can make custom waveforms. Call in Mockery from whose line is it anyway? Yeah, he's so good. And he's also the snack fairy, right? But if you want, like, you can actually change the waveforms, you know? To, like, I don't know, sound different. Um, and actually, because you can change it... Oops. It's a weird oscilloscope. It sure is. And it's pretty new. They didn't have that before. So, it's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, instead of... This one's supposed to be about poltergeists that are, like, messing with you. You know? Um, yeah, this one... This is a... Um... Five... No, no, no. It's a... It's a waltz. It's like... It's a five-bar waltz. So I really like this one a lot, but I'm not sure where to go with it, so... Oh, I did this, actually. I just made it higher. <laughs> put an R command here. You're off to dinner. Late dinner, 10.30. I don't know what time it is there. Bonne nuit, though. Bon appétit. <laughs> I 
Actually, maybe I should change these. Yeah. Four twenty eight AM. He's gonna you step so late. <laughs> so late. I want to hear this one because I forgot how it goes. This one's Moon Glow. I like this one. This is for I like this. This one might actually be done too, I don't know. Let me put Moon Glow in here, because yeah, I like this on Moon Glow. Consume. The other one called Consume. Uh, I don't want to work on that anymore, because I want to try to wrap up here. It's 1030. I should go eat something or whatever. Um, let's listen to Trapped. Yeah, let's listen to Trapped. This one is about demons. Ooh. Um... Yeah, let's listen to Trapped, and then we're gonna call it a night.
Yeah, so there's that one. Um, I like that one a lot. <laughs> so that one's done. I'll probably just end up uh, fading out of that one as well, actually. Another good instrument change. Thank you. I, I've been putting a lot of effort into my instruments lately and, like, uh, echo instruments and stuff. Here, I'll, I'll play one more for you guys. This one is probably going to end up on my metal album at some point, maybe. Because I'm working on a metal album, too, because I like chiptune metal. This one is 100% inspired by Powerwolf, which is my favorite band, if you don't know that. They're kind of silly, but they're totally awesome. And, uh, yeah. This one's about werewolves. <laughs> Yeah, anyways. So, I like that one. That one's pretty cool, too. Uh, I accidentally muted one of the channels while I was playing it back. <laughs> anyway, guitar solo instruments again. Thank you. I think I know which ones you're talking about. They're like the screamy. I think I just called them scream. Someone like, yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah, kind of guitar solo <laughs> I think, you know, it's really important because it's easy to fall into, like, this is my melody instrument. This is my bass instrument. And there's different, you know, different things you can do in, in all kinds of songs. So you got to kind of think about the song itself. Um, and I realized <laughs> I just called this song Yeb. Oh, this looks like a finished. This looks like a finished song. Oh yeah, there we go. It's finished. Nice. Sounds good. All right, you know what? Let's play Yeb. I'm gonna play Yeb and then we're gonna end for the night. Like when electronic music picks the right patch for me or whatever you call it, compliments the rest of the song. I think that's super important. Anything that you're doing. So, and when you think about it, when you have like great orchestral soundtracks for film and stuff, usually you have like a big, well, orchestra. You have the brass and the strings and you have all this. And then when you have like a rock band or metal, well, metal, you have, like, the double pedal, right? And the loud cymbals. And and with LSDJ or, like, any kind of electronic music, it's all syn it's synthesis, right? So you're synthesizing these actual instruments. But, on the other hand, you're also using a brand new instrument. Like, this is the Game Boy instrument, basically. So it's kind of neat that you can get those kind of sounds. You can get those kind of feel. Like that kind of... I think uh, Chainspell earlier was talking about the... Um, a silver sounding thing. And that's funny because that's what I always picture too is like silver or glass or bells or something like that. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but anyways, we'll end with this one. We'll actually end with this one. And then um, I think Appalach is uh, still streaming maybe. So maybe we'll uh, read that guy. Read them. Anyways, this one. I don't know if I'm going to put an actual name or just, <laughs> just called it Yeah, but I don't know why. But now it kind of stuck. Anyways, here's the
and that's uh, Yeb. <laughs> so anyway, there you have it, guys. Got some good work done. We got two songs done. Two songs done. And it's only October 3rd. <laughs> so that's pretty great. Um, yeah, let me see who is uh, who's streaming here. I think Appalach went live a little bit ago. Yeah, you know, Appalach is live. So let's go right down. <laughs> Aw, yeb. That might be why. Okay, there we go. Wait, is it? Is that right? Is it? It's not like Appalach music. No, it's just Appalach. Okay. So we're gonna go right Appalach. Um, hope everybody had a super duty duper great day. And look forward to the brand spanking new Halloween album, which is coming out on Halloween. Assuming it's done by then. Oh gosh, I hope it's done by then. Ah. I'm going to be streaming some Fall Guys tomorrow with my buddy K-Dash and some other people who might be interested. Uh, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's all go say hi to Appalach. Everybody have a super duper great night. Thanks again for being here. Night night.